Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Daniela Kwaku and today we are going to be making our oilless delicious okra soup. Okay, so let's quickly get started. This is an emergency soup as you can see. This soup did not take up to 30 minutes for us to cook. So I'm just going to start by bringing out my my preserved uh, rodo. This is rodo which I processed in my earlier video. Just rodo, okay? And then this is my daughter who slices up our onions and then our condiments that we're going to be using are our rodo, our onions, our meat, our egg fish, aka panla, our seasoning cubes, our more okra and the rest so let's let's get washing okay so you are going to wash your okra as usual with under running water with salt a little bit of salt and uh, running water so wash it thoroughly wash it thoroughly okay wash it thoroughly so that you don't have sand in your okra soup okay now I'm done washing, so we're going to just start slicing now. At first, I thought of um, slicing it tinier, but this is the only size I could come up with. Okay. Um, but my daughter joined me with a grater, so she is also going to be grating it into smaller pieces. Why I also cut mine into bigger um, sizes so that my okra soup. It's not too smooth. I, I don't like my okra soup too smooth. Okay, so I like to have something to chew on. Okay, that's why I made it this way. So Messi is helping me to grate. Why I also use my knife to cut up in bigger chunks. So I'm going to add in my meat now, and then put in my onions. Put as much as you want, but this is an emergency soup. You can see the way I'm cooking it fast because this is what we are going to be eating today. Okay, so make sure your meat is without any water because the meat is going to bring up its own liquid when it starts to boil. So it's going to boil out, and then from there you know what next to do. So you just cover this up and allow it to cook and bring out its water now this is um my uh, garlic and ginger paste i blended it right after i made my parsley mix okay that's why it's green this way so this is my garlic and ginger this is my parsley i just added it just for the effect sha it's just that i i just wanted to add effect to it not that it's all the time so i just added this and then leave it to boil again and then you can see the remaining part of my okra those ones that are not too good i'm just going to throw that one away and then use these ones that we have grated and cut up to use now you can see my meat has brought out enough liquid i'm going to add more water because the base of my soup is i don't want it too thick so i'll leave it to boil now so that the, my meat will become very tender now Messi is going to try and cut up the Uziza leaf while I do one or two things around the kitchen. So this is our Uziza leaf. It's not so fresh but I mean it's something to wash it out and it's all okay. I like Uziza leaf because it makes the okra, it gives it that nice aroma that you know I just love Uziza leaf you know. So just wash it up rinse it out now you can see that my meat is ready i'll add in my mix i changed my mind much later i didn't use it use my preserved rodo again i just got up fresh ones so that it can be very red now i add my pomo my crayfish and my i just allow it to boil and a little bit of onions for it to boil out and to incorporate it very well so Messi wants to do tasting now let's just taste and see if the meat is done okay it's ready let's put it back 
and continue with our cooking because every meat here matters okay now <laughs> we are going to allow this to boil then we'll add our hay fish aka banla and then that's it after it has boiled for like a minute or two <laughs> you add in your remaining crayfish mix it all up allow it to boil a bit and then that is all your base is ready allow it to boil for like another one or two minutes and then start putting your okra like I said, you don't really need oil in this soup. I was not planning to use any oil in it. I wanted to eat it this way. In fact, you can cook your okra anyhow you want, but this style is foolproof. As long as you use your rodo, you are good to go. So you can see me mixing up my okra, both the small size and the big size. And after mixing it up, I need to add my uses a leaf for that aroma that that aroma okay so i'll add in my um, my uses leaf now okay so after adding my uses leaf soup is ready oh. soup is ready so my daughter really helped me out because i was very tired and i needed to go upstairs and do one of the things so She's the one that finished cooking the soup, so I just came down to check to see how it went. So this is Messi's recipe. Messi, well done. So we're done. Our soup is ready. It's time to eat. You can see that there's no difference with whether you put oil or not. The soup is ready. It's okay. It's looking delicious. It's, you know. So this is our oilless okra soup. Do you like it? Are you going to try it out? If you are going to try it out, please let me know. Thank you and bye. So you can see the soup is ready. Come and eat oh. come and eat. You write it, come and eat. Come and eat to oh. eh, Messi. Well done, well done, well done. You do well, you do well. Alright, bye.